typography is this beautiful thing. It's something that is everywhere we look and it's, it's almost like a foundation to our civilization, to our culture. It is something that people associate with Microsoft Word and fonts that come with your computer. Um, and it's not really like a, a really considered thing, but I think, you know, like it's something where you can really play with the details and um, experiment and, you know, mash different styles from different uh, time periods. I think it's a, it's a really fun and interesting uh, way of appropriating and working with new design. The word urtex kind of came from this musical term um, which meant that as the artist intended. All these details I think were fantastic and the drop shadows and the spur serifs and things like that. This is a fantastic book. Um, it's a beautiful reference for uh, 19th century typography and just goes through all the different um, original type fonts. Pick and choose bits of inspiration from, from everyday life. It takes a keen eye to notice, you know, just the way that a piece of metal type is embossed on a on a manhole. And you think, oh, you know, that's fantastic. I'm gonna, you know, remember that, I'm gonna play with that and see how we can take, you know, like an old style or a new style and different textures and different um, ways of using shape and shadow and tone to to incorporate something new. By bringing it into the computer, you can really um, manipulate each line and each shape and all the spacing of an object. You know, like there was this crossover between graffiti, uh, which I was really interested in, and, and typography, you know, and I think the most interesting forms of design or the most important parts of design is when um, the things that we create um, are you know, have this personal touch that, you know, are made by people for people and there's that respect there. And, um, you know, like when you've got like something that just looks like it's made by an alien, you know, it doesn't have this human element to it. It almost like forces you out or pushes you away and it forgets the, you know, who made it and who it's for. It's nice to be able to, to hold on to those things. There's real ways of making things.